The Labour leader is facing a bit of a backlash this morning following his decision to praise the former Conservative PM, Margaret Thatcher. Yes, in a clear pitch to Tory voters in a piece in the Sunday Telegraph, Sir Keir Starmer highlighted her sense of mission and purpose that defined her premiership. He wrote, every moment of meaningful change in modern British politics begins with the realisation that politics must act in service of the British people rather than dictating to them. Margaret Thatcher sought to drag Britain out of its stupor by setting loose our natural entrepreneurialism. In a tick, Pat McFadden, uh, Shadow Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, he's the man who's behind Labour's uh, campaign. We've been asking you all morning, is Starmer right to praise Thatcher? Archie says he will say anything. The lack of sincerity that radiates out of this empty suit is really something. This country needs help. Uh, Lee says Thatcher gave the country the kick up the backside it needed. We need someone similar to come in and sort it out whilst we're in dire times again. Don, evoking Margaret Thatcher really highlights how poor all of our current political leaders are by comparison. Well done, Starmer. Uh, interesting. Joining us from Westminster, Nick. Yes, it's the Shadow Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, Pat McFadden. Uh, good morning, Pat. What are your thoughts on what your boss had to say yesterday? Well, he cited three former Prime Ministers, Mrs Thatcher, who you've mentioned there, uh, Clement Attlee and Tony Blair. And he cited them all as people who had won big victories and got big things done for the country. He's not the first Labour leader to talk about Mrs Thatcher in this way. I remember when Gordon Brown had her in to tea at number 10 and described her as a conviction politician who got things done. Uh, Tony Blair described her as a towering figure. Uh, Keir cited her, but it's important to say he also cited Tony Blair and Clement Attlee. And the point it's he was great making, to, it's great to have you on, my friend. But we only policy. we only get a short amount of time, and I've got to cut straight to the chase. You can sit there or stand there and talk to me about Blair and Attlee, and I completely accept your point. But for many left-wing members of the Labour Party, whether you like it or not, it is going to stick in their gut for their leader to be mentioning somebody who is still seen as incredibly divisive. My question to you as the campaign coordinator is, this is either a genius trick or a massive gamble. You're 20 points ahead in the opinion polls. Yes, there's a bunch of floating voters, but could this not harm you amongst people who would have voted for you before you try and grab some through the Sunday Telegraph, my friend? The sound is cutting out a bit, but I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Um, look, many of the uh, sort of objections to this, the same thing happened when Gordon Brown had Mrs Thatcher into tea a number of uh, years ago. But the bigger point, I think, the bigger underlying point in the article is when you've been beaten for four elections in a row, the blunt fact is there is no path to victory that doesn't include appealing to people who've been voting Conservative in recent years, and many of them will be feeling let down by the current government, and we want them to know that they're facing a changed Labour Party that puts financial stability first, takes national security seriously, and won't put forward uh, promises where we can't say exactly where the money is coming from. That's not just a theme for a newspaper article yesterday. It's also a theme in a speech that Keir Starmer is making uh, this morning, but he says we've got to become obsessed with economic growth because it's the only way to increase people's incomes and get the funds that we need to have the public services that we want. Uh, Pat, you are Labour's national campaign coordinator. Were you part of the conversation over the weekend that Sir Keir Starmer was going to mention Margaret Thatcher in his article in the Sunday Telegraph? Were you part of that decision? I'm... Uh... Always part of the conversation, I hope, as the campaign coordinator. And I'll always encourage the Labour Party to reach out beyond its base, appeal to people that don't always vote for it, and make sure that they know that this time they're being offered a, a changed Labour Party compared to the one uh, that lost so, the election so there, back there, in there's, 2019. There's my question, for Pat, and, I, and I, I will give credit to Keir Starmer because I think he has changed the Labour Party, and I think he has. We did a survey last week which said that 11% of the UK population now give more credence to Labour financially than the Tories. A, a massive and seminal moment. But my point is this. Yes, he has changed the Labour Party, but he was also part of a Labour Party that supported Jeremy Corbyn, and as were you. It has been a seismic move. There will be cynics, yes, who will say this is all made up, but I hear you guys every day say to me about, you know, we're not going to spend what we haven't got. And that will be music to many people's ears, but there will still be cynicism. Do you understand that? There will be. 
Look, you refer to the past. Uh, the truth is, uh, no single person owns the Labour Party. There can be many accusations you can make towards me, but being a massive fan of the previous leader is probably not one that's going to hold a lot of water. Uh, there's no secret about that. Um, the, the, the Labour Party is bigger than any single leader, and it exists in order to serve the British people. And the heart of the change that Keir Starmer's made is precisely that. Because I think we had got into a position where we were existing as a sort of private members club, where yeah. all we cared about was the internal audience. That's changed now, and it's a really important change because the Labour Party's job is to serve the British people, and that's what we're about now. Well, thank you so much, Thanks, Pat, Pat McFadden, for joining us this morning. Appreciate uh, it.